that stubborn Omotimus will Atsiope sling that I was transferring and that I had hard time getting it to the enclosure, it molted. I can't believe because it molted kind of recently and when I was... where is it? Where is it? Oh yes, here it is. It sure seemed like it was in pre-mold, but I didn't really expect that it actually is because it took much longer time between last few molds than this time. Maybe because I fed it a lot. That's cool and perhaps and maybe the mold is big enough to see the gender. So let's check it out. Oh yes, and also I'll update you on the ends. Okay, let's see if we can do this. And of course, as usual, if you're wondering how exactly to do this, I made a video about it. So click in the right corner. I need another one. So click in the right corner and see what's going on. Okay, it opened up really nice. And it is a bit too tiny to see, but I think I see something. It is hard to tell because it is small, but I think we need macro lens for this. Okay, I assume that on the video I will be able to see it. Here on the display, not really. It doesn't look promising. I need to check that out on the computer. After I checked the footage on the camera, it seems that it is a male after all. On this area there should be a spermatica visible at this size, but it is not, so it is kind of safe to assume that this is a male. But there's still a chance because, as you know, I have two more. Anyhow, now the ends. So for all of you that don't know, on Terra Plaza in February I picked up a small colony of ants. They are called Black Garden Ants and the Latin name is Lassius Niger. It was a small colony with only one ant queen and 10 ant workers. And queen already laid a bunch of eggs. Now I don't know exactly the stages of the ant egg so I won't be talking about that. But anyway, there was a bunch of eggs that went through a couple of stages and eventually emerged as ant workers. Now, even though it wasn't necessary, I decided to make an outworld for them. A colony of that size would be fine in that test tube, but I decided to make it anyway. The outworld, I mean. Now you can see what I used to make a barrier, so the ants won't be able to crawl out of the outworld. It is called a talcum powder and I mix it with the alcohol. That way you can easily apply talcum on the sides because alcohol will quickly evaporate and it will leave only talcum there. Just what you need. Now I can't really tell you how to make a mixture. I mean how much talcum you need and how much alcohol you need. That was the first time that I made it so I was experimenting and so far it seems okay. So just see the consistency that I made here and do the same I guess. For applying the talcum I used a soft brush and there is not much to it, just apply it. Don't make it too thick because ants could be able to cross it but see from this video how, how thick the layer is. Not really thick. So far the ants didn't manage to escape so I guess this is okay. For fixing the test tube I use the magnets. This way the tube is kept on its place and it won't roll away but at the same time I can remove it wherever I want and whenever I need. And everything was ready to release the first ends to the new outworld. So let's see who will be the first one. And after our Columbus, others were quick to follow him and he was also the first one to test out the talcum powder to show me if it works or not. The life of the explorers is not always that easy. <laughs> and thankfully falls like that are nothing to our ends. After that I offered them a pre-killed fruit fly. So let's see how they will bring their first meal from the outworld.
After some time I noticed that the eggs, or maybe they are called larvas, I'm, I'm not sure, they were growing and changing stages and it was really interesting to watch and observe how ants are constantly turning them around, switching their position and whatnot. It's amazing how they are organized without talking or anything like that. Nature is so fascinating and awesome. Ants require two types of food. One is source of proteins. You can feed them cockroaches, fruit flies or similar animals. And second thing they need is source of sugar. For that it is used uh, sugar water or honey and the ants love it. And as the time went by, there were more and more of these eggs, these small eggs. So that means that Queen was rather busy with increasing her brood. But I was really getting impatient to see the worker ant hatching because colony size was still only 10 worker ants and I was getting a bit worried if everything is in order because I have no idea how long does it take for a worker to hatch. So I kept waiting and waiting and that was the main reason why I waited so long to make this update video because I wanted to show you that the new workers hatch and finally here they are. You see these grey ants, they are the freshly hatched workers so yeah that's it. It would be so cool to get hatching on the video but that requires a crazy luck to see that and react in time. And this is the fresh recording of the ants. As you can see there is much more than 10 of them. And it seems that new ones are constantly hatching so there will be a lot in the near future. So we can expect the feeding videos and other time lapses in the future once this colony grows to a decent size. And for you that watch Ants Canada YouTube channel you probably know how he always lets his subscribers to decide what the name of the colony will be and I like that a lot so I will do the same thing if you have cool idea for name for this colony make sure to write it in the comments and, and others can just thumbs up the favorite comments and that's how we will decide and also one other question I'm wondering if you were familiar with the end keeping before watching my videos or these videos are how you discovered about it let me know in the comments and I noticed that I also have two more molds this is the psalopeus sling that I transferred when I stepped on his brother or sister I don't know what it was but yeah it molded and the other tarantula that molted mm, not sure how much you can see but you can see the legs it is the Pezzoteria rufilata so let's try and take the mold out Positioning is not the best, but we'll see. But we'll see if I can reach it. This is the leg. So I don't need to sex it, but it would be cool if I could get it out. Oh yeah. Getting really big. And when I got it, it was a 2 cm sling. Now it has, I don't know, 11, 12 maybe centimeters that is, not inches. Anyway, let's end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up. And comment something and if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe i upload every monday and friday so see you again soon B -b -b bye <laughs>